Justin Popovich here, along with, I have a special guest today, Sue Fleckenstein. Are you there, Sue? Yes, I am, Justin. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I And Sue can't see this right now because we're on a Skype call and I'm trying something a little different. I'm recording my Skype call with her audio. We've already had our share of technical difficulties, so uh, bear with us. But and, and I'm showing you my screen. And the reason is I wanted to, first of all, introduce you to Sue if you haven't met her before, but also let you know about this great yoga PLR product she's put together. Uh, I think you'll find it quite interesting if you're into content at all. Um, this is something I promoted yesterday, December 12th of 2012, and uh, I'm going to blog about it today because I had a lot of great feedback. And so, Sue, I'm just on your sales letter now, and I'm kind of scrolling around. I'm going to put it at the point where we're at your, uh, your e-cover here, and there's a person doing yoga. Uh, Talk to me a little bit about this product, sort of how you came up with the idea for it, what your vision was for it, and then particularly, you know, how, how you think you can help marketers who buy this. What, what does it do for them? Uh, well, I enjoy writing on health topics quite a lot. So I was doing research and I saw that the yoga niche is um, really popular. But the problem that I also discovered was there was not a, a lot of content available for, pe for marketers. Um, there was a lot of video-based stuff, but there wasn't much written content at all. And you know, this was the, where I got the idea to put a, a complete package together, so that you know people could just take it and set up a brand new site within you know a couple of hours, and they'd have everything that they needed, you know, to market. They'd have their own product. They'd have content to fill pages on the site, you know, so that they were ready to go. Right, and I mean, I don't, I haven't done a lot of market research on uh, yoga, but. I just think of in my daily life, I know a ton of people that take it and there's different styles of yoga and a lot of people, let's say in my parents' generation, like baby boomer generation, are turning to yoga because it's sort of a lower impact way of getting in really good shape. Uh, what kind of, did you do some marketing? I'm looking at your sales letter here to see if you actually did look at some of the trends. I imagine there's major keyword play here. Well, there is. I mean, I even include a, a huge list of keywords in there because there's a lot that you can market it, and a lot to the local market it because you can target you know, local areas with all the different types of yoga studios that are available too. Awesome. Yoga oh, it's been around 3,000 years, so <laughs> it has a huge history. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm looking at, I'm at the point in your sales letter here where you're showing facts and and uh, number of people globally, but also the, the you know the 27 billion are spent on yoga products a year. So, there I mean that's the number you need to look at at least from a marketer's perspective. Obviously, yoga has incredible benefits uh, from a health perspective as well. So, people buying this, you know, it's not just about the marketing potential. You're just, you're distributing really good information that's going to help a lot of people, uh, which is a huge criteria for me as a PLR creator. I, I don't want to just put crap out there flood the internet with more useless stuff. I mean, this is good content that marketers can uh, can actually make a difference with, which I love. I'm looking down here now. I've scrolled down and looking at this huge list of green plus signs. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Without sounding overly hypey, uh, you've really put uh, a lot of effort into this thing. And you know that I like that because with our PLR, we do the same thing. We really like to stack the value in terms of, you know, it's not just a set of articles or an ebook, it's lots of stuff. So let's go through it. You got you got your introductory PDF. So this, I, I imagine you're just showing people, you know, if they've never used PLR, kind of what to do to get up and running? It's, it's a quick overview of what's included in the package so they can make sure they've got all the components inside. And then I've put in their little tips and pointers on how to use certain things like the ebook. You know, I've given them a price point um, as a suggestion of what to sell it for. Um, and you know the same with the articles. I, I think I mentioned in there about splitting them up to, to create your pages on your site. So you can have like yoga clothing, you can have you know, yoga products, and you know you could even have something on yoga retreats if you wanted to. Nice. So it's a overview of how to, you know, with some ideas of how to use the product. Right. And I, I see the way you've packaged it here is you've got the 45-page ebook, which is, I guess, the guide. That's what they sell. And then you have the article. So I imagine the ebook is something. Um, let's say in a sales funnel, could you could could you use that to build your list, or do you have to sell it? Is there a minimum price they have to put on that? 
No, they can sell it for anything they want, but I did recommend, because it's a, it's a fairly large book, I believe it's 45 or 47 pages long. Right. For their own benefit, you know, I, I think I suggest to sell it around, or to try selling it at nine ninety five first and see what the feedback is. Right. Um, but then, again, they could even take segments from that book and, like, give away the first chapter and use that to build a list. Perfect. So, yeah, that that's exactly where I was going with it, is a lot of people like to, it doesn't matter what niche, as I <laughs> like to say, what niche you're in, um, if, if you're building a list in a, in a sales funnel, if you have something really good to give away in the front end, then it's going to warm them up and maybe you'll have more success at selling that ebook. Uh, and then I also like here what you've done. So obviously you've got the list of keywords that you mentioned, 800 keywords. That's awesome. You've got your 10 articles, which I know you do in a lot of your um, your PLR. You include the articles on top of the ebook. There's a video, but I really like the 37 royalty-free images. That's that's uh, something I haven't really seen done on too many uh, PLR packages. Do you do that on a lot of yours? This is the first time I've done it. It is. Okay. Great idea. I might have to borrow that from you. Well, I borrowed it from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. We can all share. As long as the people buying the PLR are getting value, I'm I'm happy with it. So if you need to borrow my ideas and I borrow yours, I'm all for it. Um, and, and then the online resource guide, obviously I'm a big fan of that. So you've gone out and obviously found really good affiliate programs, things of that nature. Um, what kind of payouts? Have, did you take a, look, a deep look there? Like what kind of money can people make as affiliates of yoga products? Um, some of the programs are paying 20%, which um, is a $300 commission. Now, that's if you start promoting things like yoga retreats, mm -hmm. yoga teacher training um, courses. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's not... Sorry, say that again? That could be a whole different area that you could go into. Well, yeah, exactly. And if you if you take a serious approach to affiliate marketing, you could use this entire package to... Uh, sort of build your credibility up with that audience, right? You you could use the articles, maybe create an opt-in like you were suggesting with the first chapter, sell a book at a low price point, and then on the back end or even a, like in a private area of the website or on a post, some like maybe a promoted blog post on that website, you promote the retreat. But because you've got all this other content, they've bought stuff from you, they've read your great articles, it's a it's an easier sell as the affiliate of this program because now they're like, oh, well, this person obviously knows yoga. Let's check out this retreat that they're promoting. It must be good if they're promoting it. So rather than, you know, a little bit more of a traditional approach is, well, let's throw a WordPress blog up and, you know, do load it up with keywords and backlink it and then hopefully somebody buys one of these $6,000 retreats and get paid a little bit of money. It's like, eh, not going to happen that way. Oh, for sure. I mean, that's what I thought too, because, and I think a lot of marketers, that's what they say. You, you start promoting like lower price products and then you move up until you get the higher end product. Exactly. So whether you're the product creator and selling the products yourself or even as an affiliate, it, it takes work. And so this, what Sue's done here for you is basically giving you all the tools you need to do that. Now, your job is obviously to put it into practice and use it. Like any other digital product, this PLR is... It, it just saves you all the time of having to do all of this work for yourself. I can ima imagine, I mean, look at this list here with all these plus signs. If you did all of this yourself, you're looking at, if you're efficient, you're looking at a week of work at the least. So uh, what's the price point on it right now at the time of this video? It's nine ninety five. Is that the cap price? That is. Okay, so nine ninety five is the most you're going to pay for this on this particular offer. Incredible deal. Um, and then there's some, I, I noticed you have some bonuses in here as well. Do you want to quickly touch on those? Yeah, and um, the bonuses, uh, there are just some audio tracks with some music on there that's kind of suitable for the yoga. And the other one is a plugin that um, you can put on your WordPress site, and when you go to rewrite your PLR, it will tell you how much of it that you have rewritten. Ah, okay. okay. So it's an easy way to make sure that your content is going to be different to everybody else who's just bought the package. There you go. Well, that's, yeah, that's a, a great point because they are shared articles, right? So you, I, sell, I sell the same kind of articles and I always tell people, you know, these are meant to be used as a baseline, either rewrite them or turn them into your own ebook or something different. 
um, you have to get creative. The PLR aspect or the license that we're selling you is it's mainly time savings. We've done all of the research for you. We've done all of the content creation for you. It's up to you to get creative and, and monetize it in, in this case, the yoga niche or anything else. So uh, well done on this. It's a, it's a great offer and I appreciate you taking time to jump on my blog and make a personal connection with my readers and my audience. I think it goes a really long way and I think more people should do this kind of thing. So I appreciate you taking the time. Do you have anything to add before we go? No, I think about you covered it, covered it all, but it was, you know, I'm glad that you invited me to do this call. It's been a great experience. Yeah, well, again, thanks. And actually, one other thing before we hang up here, because I get this question from a lot of, well, it's, no, it's not a question. I get this objection from people on my list saying, I would buy more of your PLR if you allowed me to pass along resale rights. And I don't for most of our PLR. It's just a strategy we've we've gone with, and we have many paying clients that expect that, so we, we kind of stick with that. But you're allowing that. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody buys this. They create, uh, let's say it's, a, you know, they, they take your ebook on yoga, but maybe they alter it a little bit, maybe put some of their branding on it, or even just leave, leave it as, as is, but they put it in PDF format, so it's not editable anymore. It's, it's consumable, but then they let their clients resell that PDF to their list as well. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. So they can't, they can't resell, like somebody buys this from you, they can't resell PLR to it, which is what your final license says, but they can sell anything that's not editable. That's correct, yes. Right. So there you go. So any, anybody watching this video that has sent me an email like that, because I know there's at least... 20 people that have asked that. So there you go. I've, I, I, I don't have one myself, but I found you somebody who not only uh, put together a great product, but has, uh, has stacked it with value and bonuses, probably even more than we do in a lot of our offers. So uh, now you've got another provider. Maybe I've just created competition for myself. I don't know. Probably not. I think we all help each other out. And, uh, and I obviously highly recommend Sue's course here. Thanks, Sue, for, or not course, your PLR, but thanks for joining me today. And for those of you watching, thanks for watching. There's a link below this video. Go and check it out. I think you'll really enjoy this product if you are into the yoga stuff.